Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to crochet to ghosts. One wears a pumpkin hat. The other a magic hat. First, crochet their body parts with white yarn. We're going to learn how to wrap yarn around our left hand. Pull the yarn and wrap it around your pinky first. Then around the index finger. And finally round the middle finger. Cross the yarn ends and press with your thumb. We need to make a magical ring fist. Get out of our crochet hooks. Under the middle finger loop of yarn. With the hook facing down, pull through the loop. Pull out. Then wind the yarn upward from the bottom of the straightened yarn. This is a starting stitch. It cannot be regarded as the first order of stitching. Keep crocheting through this hole. Wrap the crochet hook from under the yarn upwards and pull it out. Now there are two loops on the crochet hook. Continue winding the yarn. This way of winding yarn over the crochet hook is called yarn over. Pulling from both loops. The first single crochet is completed. It has a V shape. The first ring is a total of six single crochet hooks. Usually, we put a marker on the first stitch of each turn. Convenient for us to remember the number of stitches. Put it through the V and buckle it up. It's done! Continue crocheting our first round. Keep crocheting through this hole. Wrap the crochet hook from under the yarn upwards and pull it out. Continue winding the yarn, pulling from both loops. The second single crochet is done. Use the same method to complete the remaining six single crochets. The last single crochet is done. At the end of each round of crocheting, count the number of stitches to see if it is correct. Now let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now we need to tighten the circle. Find the short yarn. Pull the yarn end on the short side and pull hard until there is no gap in the center of the circle. Then we started crocheting the second round. The second round is six increased stitches. Now we remove the marking buckle. Increasing stitches means crocheting to single crochet stitches in each stitch. Insert the crochet hook from the stitch where we just removed the marker buckle. When crocheting, beginners should not tighten the loop too much, otherwise it will be difficult to crochet. The method of single crochet is the same as before. This is the first single crochet in the first group of increasing stitches. Remember to add a marker button to the first stitch of each round. Next, complete the second single crochet stitch in the first group of increasing stitches. Still inserting the crochet needle in the stitch just now. Crochet another single crochet stitch. The 
The first group of increasing stitches is completed. It has two V-shaped stitches. Next, complete the second increased stitch in the next stitch. Still do to single crochet stitches in one stitch. The second increased stitch is also completed. Use the same method to complete the next for increased stitches. The last stitch of the second round is completed. Checking the number of stitches at the end of each round can ensure that our subsequent crocheting can proceed smoothly. There are 12 stitches. Now start the third round. The crochet method of the third round is one single crochet and one increased stitch as a group and repeat six times. After completion, there are a total of 18 stitches. First, crochet a single crochet in the first stitch. Then crochet an increasing stitch in the second stitch, that is, two single crochets. The first group, one single crochet and one increasing stitch, is completed. Continue to complete the remaining groups. One single crochet. One increased stitch. The last stitches of the fourth round is completed. Remember that we have 18 stitches in total. Then comes the fourth round. With one single crochets, one increasing stitch, one single crochets as a group. Cycle six times. One single crochets. One increased stitch. One single crochets. The first group, one single crochet, one increased and one single crochet is completed. Continue to complete the remaining groups. The last stitches of the fourth round is completed. Remember that we have 24 stitches in total. The fifth to eighth rounds are the same. All are 20 for single crochet stitches. One stitch per stitch, no increase or decrease. You can complete the fifth to eighth rounds by yourself. The eighth round is completed. A total of 24 stitches. You can cut off the excess yarn from the starting stitch or keep it in. Now it is the ninth round. In this round, we will start to decrease stitches. Decentralized stitches means turning two stitches into one stitch. The rule of this round is one single crochet one decrease, one single crochet as a group. Repeat eight times. The first single crochet is done. The second one is a decreasing stitch. We use the front loop only. The front loop only is the side close to our body. The outside part of the V we see. We use invisible decrease stitches on the surface of the crocheted fabric 
and only use the front loop only to crochet. The crochet hook goes into the first front loop only. Hook in. Continue into the second front loop only. Now there are three loops on the hook. Yarn over. Passes through the first two loops. Wrap the yarn and pass through all the loops. A decreased stitch is done. Then there are one single crochet stitches. The first group is done. Use the same method to complete the next seven groups. The ninth round is also done. It looks good. A total of 18 stitches. Then comes the 10th round. Then 10th round is 18 single crochets. One stitch per stitch. No increase or decrease. Then 10th round is completed. A total of 18 stitches. Take out the safety eyes in our accessory bags. It has a spiral plug rod and a matching washer to fix it. Insert safety eyes between rounds 5 and 6. Counting from our first stitch, stitch 18 upwards. Put the plug rod between the stitches. Spacing them three stitches apart. Put the washer in from the inside and buckle the plug rod. The eyes are installed. Next is the 11th round. The 11th rounds, we only hook the black loop only. The black loop only is the half of the V on the inside. We need to reserve the front loop only. Crochet a ghost hemline later. The first one is a single stitch. Followed by a decreased stitch. The crochet hook goes into the black loop only. Wind the yarn and pull it out. Then go into the next stitch. Wind the yarn and pull it out. Now there are three loops on the crochet hook. Wind the yarn through all the loops. A non-implicit reduction stitch is done. Followed by a single stitch. The first group is complete. Do the same for the next three groups. We're done in round 11. That's 12 stitches. Now you can add filling cotton. Take out our stuffing cotton and stuff it in small amounts and multiple times. It makes its body full. Adjust while stuffing it in to keep the stuffing balanced until its shape looks like a round bulge. Pinch it with your hands to keep a certain elasticity. Next is the 12th round. The 12th round is six decreased stitches. Only use the front loop only to crochet. The hook picks up the front loop only of the two stitches at the same time. Then finish it like a single crochet. The twelfth round is completed. Leave 10 centimeters of yarn waiting to be stitched. Use the crochet hook to pull the yarn out. Take out the sewing needle and put on the yarn. We can see that there is a small hole in the center of the circle. Now let's close it. Still using the front loop only. Pass the needle through each stitch in turn. Sewed a total of six stitches. 
tighten it at the end. Insert the needle from the center of the circle. Pull the yarn out from the side of the body. Repeat several times so that the yarn is not easy to run out. Pull out the yarn and cut it close to the body. Be careful not to cut its body. Great! The ghost's body is done. Now to crochet his hemline. In the front loop only of the 11th round we reserved before. Hook went into the hole. Take out the new yarn. Crochet hook facing down. Pull out the yarn. Wind the yarn through the loop. This is a starting stitch. Back through the hole that the hook just went into. Crochet to single crochets in each stitch. Add a marker button. Continue. Complete the first increase stitch. Next increase stitches. The first round of the hemline is 18 increasing stitches. The short length of yarn at the beginning, crochet two stitches and then cut it off. The first round of the hemline is done. A total of 36 stitches. Now for the second round of the hemline. We'll make six different lengths of rounded hem. The first stitch of the first largest round edge is a single crochet. The second stitch is a half double crochet and a double crochet. Start by crocheting a half double crochet. Wrap the yarn around the hook first, then went into the hole. Crochet down and pull out the yarn. Now there are three loops on the hook. Wrap the yarn and pass through all the loops. Continue to add a double crochet to the previous stitch. Wrap the yarn around the hook first, then went into the hole. Crochet down and pull out the yarn. Now there are three loops on the hook. Wrap the yarn and pass through the first two loops. Wrap the yarn and pass through all the loops. The next stitch is a treble crochet increase. First, make two loops on the crochet hook. Then went into the hole. Crochet down and pull out the yarn. Now there are four loops on the crochet hook. Wrap the yarn and pass through the first two loops. Now there are three loops on the hook. Wrap the yarn and pass through the first two loops. Now there are two loops left on the crochet hook. Wrap the yarn again and pull it out. Let's look at the heights of the different stitches that we just completed. Continue to add another treble crochet to the previous stitch. The method is the same as before. Make two loops on the crochet hook, then went into the hole. Crochet down and pull out the yarn. Now there are four loops on the crochet hook. Wrap the yarn and pass through the first two loops. Now there are three loops on the hook. Wrap the yarn and pass through the first two loops. Now there are two loops left on the crochet hook. Wrap the yarn again and pull it out. In this way, the treble crochet increase is complete. The next stitch is a double crochet and a half double crochet. Wrap the yarn around the hook first, then went into the hole. Crochet down and pull out the yarn. Wrap the yarn and pass through the first two loops. Wrap the yarn and pass through all the loops. Continue to add half double crochet to the previous stitch. Wrap the yarn around the hook first, then went into the hole. Crochet down and pull out the yarn. Wrap the yarn and pass through all the loops.
The next one is a single crochet. Make a slip stitch in the next stitch. The first hem is done. A total of nine stitches. Start crocheting the second hem. A total of seven stitches. Insert the next stitch. The first stitch is a single crochet. The second stitch is a half double crochet. The next stitch is a double crochet increase. That's two double crochets in one stitch. The next stitch is a half double crochet. Next is, is a single crochet. The next stitch is going to be a slip stitch. The second hem is finished. The last hem lines are the same size. We make two according to the mark. The first stitch is a single crochet. The second stitch is a half double crochet. The next stitch is a double crochet. The difference between it and the last hem is that there's only one double crochet here. Next is a half double crochet. Next is a single crochet. Make a slip stitch in the next stitch. Use the same combination stitches and complete the same hemline. Now that the fourth hem is complete, we move on to crochet the fifth. The fifth hem is in the same way as the second hem in the front. In order, single crochet, half double crochet, double crochet increase, half double crochet, single crochet, slip stitch. The last hem is the same as the first hem. In order, single crochet, half double stitch, double crochet increase, triple stitch increase, double crochet, half double crochet increase, single crochet, slip stitch. Now all the hemlines are done. Leave 10 centimeters of yarn, cut, waiting to be stitched. Take out the sewing needle and put on the yarn. Insert the needle in the stitch where the mark button was just removed. Tighten the yarn and insert the loop of the last stitch. The remaining yarn, we hide it in its body. Hide the yarn along the stitches. 
cut the excess yarn. The body of the octopus Zuzu is done. Next, we'll start crocheting the magic hat. Because the black stitches are not clear under the camera, we change to gray threads for easy identification. Make a magic ring first. The method is the same as before. Crochet for single needles in the ring. Tighten the ring. The second round is one single crochet and one increased stitch as a group and repeated two times. Now the crochet fabric is rolled up. We need to turn it front side out. Cut the yarn on the short side. The third round is one single crochet stitches, one increased, one single crochet stitches, as a group, repeated to times. The fourth round is three single crochet stitches, one increased stitch as a group, repeated to times. The fifth round is two single crochet stitches, one increased stitches, two single crochet stitches, as a group, repeat two times. The sixth round is five single crochet stitches, one increased stitch, as a group, repeat two times. The seventh round is three single crochet stitches, one increased stitches, three single crochet stitches as a group. Repeat two times. Now it is the eighth round. The eighth round is seven single crochet stitches, one increased stitch as a group, repeated two times. The last stitch needs to be replaced with orange yarn. Take the orange yarn and wrap it around your finger. Then wind the yarn upward from the bottom of the straightened yarn. Now we start the ninth round. The ninth round has a total of 18 single crochet stitches. The last stitch needs to be replaced with black yarn. Tenth round has a total of 18 double crochet stitches. First crochet three chain stitches. To provide enough height for the double crochet, wrap the yarn around the hook, then went into the hole. Crochet down and pull out the yarn. Wrap the yarn and pass through the first two loops. 
Wrap the yarn and pass through all the loops. Remember, there are two double crochets in each stitch. The tenth round is completed. A total of 36 stitches. Leave enough yarn for the back stitches. Take out the sewing needle and put on the yarn. Make an invisible slip stitch at the end. Skip the first stitch and insert the needle in the next stitch. Tighten the yarn end and insert the needle from the half stitch of the last stitch just now. Pull the yarn flat so that there is no trace of sewing. Now hide the excess yarn tightly in the crochet fabric. The magic hat is done. Start crocheting a pumpkin hat now. Use orange yarn to make a magic ring first. The method is the same as before. Crochet eight single needles in the ring. Tighten the ring. The second round is eight increased stitches. Completion. There are a total of 16 stitches. The third round is one single crochet and one increased stitch as a group, repeated eight times. completion, there are a total of 24 stitches. The fourth round is two single crochets, one increased, and two single crochets as a group, repeated four times, and for single crochets. After completion, there are a total of 28 stitches. The fifth to sixth round is 28 single crochet stitches. After completion, there are a total of 28 stitches. For the final round, we will crochet the brim of the hat. There will be some variation in the shape of the brim. First, there are five single crochets. The sixth stitch is a half double crochet. Wrap the yarn around the hook first, then went into the hole. Crochet down and pull out the yarn. Now there are three loops on the hook. Wrap the yarn and pass through all the loops. A half double crochet is completed. The next stitch is a double crochet. Wrap the yarn around the hook first, then went into the hole. Crochet down and pull out the yarn. Now there are three loops on the hook. 
Wrap the yarn and pass through the first two loops. Wrap the yarn and pass through all the loops. A double crochet is completed. The next stitch is a treble crochet. First, make two loops on the crochet hook. Then went into the hole. Crochet down and pull out the yarn. Now there are four loops on the crochet hook. Wrap the yarn and pass through the first two loops. Now there are three loops on the hook. Wrap the yarn and pass through the first two loops. Now there are two loops. Wrap the yarn again and pull it out. The treble crochet is finished. The following stitches can be completed according to the markings. Leave enough yarn for the back stitches. Take out the sewing needle and put on the yarn. Make an invisible slip stitch at the end. Skip the first stitch and insert the needle in the next stitch. Tighten the yarn end and insert the needle from the half stitch of the last stitch just now. Pull the yarn flat so that there is no trace of sewing. As before, hide the excess yarn in the crochet fabric. In the back stitches, use the sewing needle to pass the yarn through the stitches. Adjust the tightness of the yarn to make it look more natural. The main body of the pumpkin hat is completed. Now we will crochet its pumpkin leafage. Still using gray yarn to demonstrate. Wrapped yarn around our left hand. First, we need to make a slip knot. The crochet ends a loop clockwise from the left side of the yarn. Then wind the yarn upward from the bottom of the straightened yarn. With the hook facing down, pull through the loop. In this way, a slip stitch is ready. Start crocheting seven chain stitches. The chain stitching method is relatively simple. Wrap the yarn around the hook and pass it through. The seven chain stitches are completed. Leave 10 centimeters of yarn waiting to be stitched. Start sewing. Take out the sewing needle and put on the yarn. Insert the needle from the center of the circle at the top. With the yarn at the other end. Be sure to keep the V-shaped side on the surface. Tighten the yarn. Tie the two yarns at the back. Hide the excess yarn in the crocheted fabric. Cut off the remaining yarn. Next, we will use black yarn to sew its eyes, nose, and mouth. Take out the sewing needle and put on the yarn. The eye is in the middle of the pumpkin hat. Counting from the top to the bottom, between the third and fourth rounds. Insert the needle from the back to the front. Pull out about 20 to 30 millimeters of yarn. Insert the needle at the bottom right of the next round. Because the eye is tilted, we must pay attention to the direction of the black yarn. Spacing them three stitches apart, sew up the other eye. The eye is sewn. Next, sew the nose in the middle of the eyes. 
Insert the needle from the back to the front on the fourth, fifth rounds. The nose is sewn. Sew the mouth on the position of the sixth, seventh rounds. Insert the needle from the back to the front. Sew a long horizontal line and add a few short vertical lines. You can sew according to our pattern, or you can do it according to your own creativity. The mouth is sewn. Turn the hat upside down. Hide the excess yarn in the crochet on the back. Cut off the remaining yarn. The pumpkin hat is complete. Next, we're going to attach the pumpkin cap to the ghost's body. Put the needle on the orange yarn. Put a needle into your body under the brim of your hat. Return from the next stitch. Through the bottom of the hat. That's it. All the way around the edge of the hat, around the body. the excess yarn in the crochet on the back. Cut off the remaining yarn. The ghost in the pumpkin hat is done. One of the ghost's eyes is a safety eye, the other is sutured. Safety eyes you can install while crocheting your body. You can also use both safety eyes or both eyes are sewn. Just do as you like. Now let's demonstrate sewing eyes. Find the right place to insert the needle. Pull out the yarn and insert the needle in the lower left direction. Pull out the needle vertically above. Pass the yarn to the lower right. Form an X shape. Hide the excess yarn in the crocheted fabric. Cut off the remaining yarn. The eye is sewn. Then use the red yarn to sew its mouth. Similar to the method just now. Sew a long horizontal line and two short vertical lines. the excess yarn in the crocheted fabric. Cut off the remaining yarn. Now we fix the magic hat on the ghost's head. Of course, you can also choose not to sew. The hat is sewn in the same way as the pumpkin hat above. Sew a circle along the place where the hat touches the head. Cut off the remaining yarn. The ghost wearing the magic hat is also done. 